Hello everybody This time I want to show you Surgery for a fractional retinal detachment With thick membranes over the posterior pole The surgery begins Trying to eliminate the vitreous that connect posterior pole and the arcades with peripheral retina. It's very important not to perform an excessive refractory over the posterior vitreous because because remaining cortex will help us to delaminate fibrovascular membranes. As you can see here, I always try to peel those membranes with an interocular forceps. This maneuver must be performed tangentially to the retina surface and can be very tricky because you must know when to stop avoiding the tear retinal tears as you can see in this moment I stop and change my instrument for an intraocular scissor during this step it's very important to delaminate the posterior cortex and the retina and dissect using the scissor the strong unions that we can find between the membrane and the retina. In this particular case I'm using to engage the net but if using smaller gauge you can use the cutter as I'm doing now from the beginning being the scissors no longer needed. Diatermy is used to control the bleeding and then is aspirated carefully using a soft teeth cannula. To complete this action IV pole can be elevated and even laser forward the coagulation can be applied to the bleeding vessels. Now with the situation under control, vitreous base shaving is performed trying to taking out the vitreous that still remains trying to avoid anterior neovascularization and late complications such as neovascular glaucoma fluid air exchange is performed taking the chance to aspirate recurrent bleeding over the posterior pole the eye is filled with 1000 centi stock silicon oil once again blood is straight this time under silicon oil leaving the retina surface clear for an extended and photo coagulation laser is applied emphasizing those area with poor treatment finally retina is reattached and on I hope this video has been helpful 
for your practice. Thank you very much and stay tuned.